It's a common phrase, children are our future, but the future of child care in our community is uncertain. It's very stressful. I've uh, cried a lot thinking I wouldn't be able to find like anywhere to put Layla into daycare. Um, a safe one at that. After applying to half a dozen daycares, Jada Harold found a spot for her daughter Layla at Train Up a Child in Florissant. Oh but there's a wait list and the daycare is at about half the capacity they're licensed for. That is truly because of staffing. The executive director says finding staff to teach our children is a huge hurdle, not just in the St. Louis region, but across the country. So many places, including myself, may have to think about closing because we can't staff properly. It's why she and others are asking St. Louis County leaders to use ERPA funds for two existing programs to help retain and hire more educators. We just need funding. Like our teachers are leaving the classrooms to go to Starbucks. Mackenzie Grayson works with Gateway Early Childhood Alliance. She says the latest data shows the average pay for child care workers is $11.65 an hour. Right now, we're literally just fighting to keep somebody in the classroom. Without public funding, the other option to raise wages is increasing the cost for parents. The average annual cost for child care in Missouri is already more than $10,000. And that's if a parent can find someone with an opening. If I don't have anybody to watch my child, I can't go to work. So the original request for was for more than $20 million of that ARPA funding. The bill that's been introduced by Councilwoman Lisa Clancy would set aside around $5 million for these child care programs. Now, next month, the council is expected to get together. That is when they will go through all of these requests, begin to make some decisions. In Clayton, Alexis Otos, News 4.